Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to Imagination Tech. So are you running out of space on your bench for because of all of your quads and you don't have a free wall to put up a pegboard or to hang all of your quads on the wall? Then I might just have the solution for you. So today we are going to be unboxing this and this is the Hive from Edison FPV. And we are going to check if this is a good solution, you know, for storing all of your quads. Stay tuned. take a look at the hive and uh, it came in this uh, box uh, Edison sent me this uh, this is a, I think this is for a three inch uh, cine whoop frame uh, but uh, this is not where we're, what we're going to be reviewing today so let's just put that aside but still I can't wait to try that try that out so the hive is a modular you know stand system and it comes with uh, things like branches the base and uh, the stem uh, so let's just uh, bring this out. So I ordered two of these base base pieces, and some of I think this is the stem. And there are a couple of more uh, parts that we're going to be taking a look at. So I, I guess this is the the branches that you would put onto this. Stem. And there are a lot of them. Yeah, I ordered a complete set with everything in it. And okay. right. So first you need to take the stem, the stem part, and you know get one of these uh, sorry, this is the base part and then you get one of these stems. So it's 3D printed so that there's a little bit of string. But we can just easily, you know, clean that up later. So you can, you can take one of these. Uh, I think these are just the trunk or the stem. Probably one of these. You can just slide them over. I think. Uh, I think it's like this. All right. So it's uh, it latches on. It's uh, quite customizable. And this might be the top part. Something like that. So I ordered some small ones for, you know, maybe for a whoop or a 2.5 inch and also got some of these um, slightly bigger ones. So you can see that uh, there are different sizes. So this is for slightly bigger, you know, bigger quads, bigger models. And this one is, uh, I think this is going to fit a 5 inch. So we're going to, you know, we're going to try this later on. Uh, we should probably put this, we should probably put this at the bottom. So. We'll assemble all of these and then maybe I'll show you afterwards what they look like. And so far, the best solution I've found is this. This is the Hive from Edison FPV and it is a vertical storage solution for quads. It's, uh, it's also modular, so you can, it, it's composed of a base, it's composed of the, the stem, uh, sorry, yeah, the stem and each branch which comes in three different sizes for all of your quads and lastly the top cover just to make it look a little bit nicer so this is available on thingiverse uh, edison fpv has uploaded this all on thingiverse so you can either order it directly from him if you don't have a 3d printer or you know send the files to a friend who has a 3d printer or if you have a 3d printer yourself you can just print it yourself and um, each uh, each branch comes in, as mentioned, comes in different sizes. So depending on the size of your quads, from this 65 millimeter whoop to this uh, three inch uh, toothpick style quad, this four inch quad, this five inch uh, freestyle quad, it can take it all. So it also has uh, this uh, hook branch, which is used for a uh, small size controller like your Tango 2 or your Jumper T light or you know Beta FPV light radio or whatever small compact radio you have. Unfortunately, it's not gonna fit a QX7 or an X90 or a jumper, you know, radio or Radio Master T16 or something like that. But, you know, for most people, this is going to be, you know, plenty. And uh, since it's a modular design, you can just uh, print or, you know, order um, whatever you need. And these two hives are composed of three 
three uh, stems so there are three stems high but you can go a little bit higher like four or five stems even uh, but I would just be careful not to knock them over but uh, they are pretty stable as you can see so again the pros is it's a very modular system you can build it your own or you can order uh, each piece uh, so it's up to you um, it accommodates all kinds of quads all sizes of quads it takes very little real estate so with these two hives I'm able to mount uh, Right now I have seven, but I can still put a couple more and I have some extra stems and branches so I can put a, a few more whoops. Probably could be able to handle around 10 uh, with these two hives, right? So obviously there are some cons to this. Um, one is uh, the cost is uh, might get a little bit more expensive depending on uh, how you source your pegboard or your hooks for your wall. So 3D printing this does cost a lot of uh, filament so uh, depending on where you get yours uh, it might be different uh, but this is used this just uses pla i bought this from edison so it did uh, cost me a little bit more money uh, but these were really nicely printed I, I, for, I forgot to mention that you know the design of these uh, branches is uh, so that uh, you know it's it, it it hooks on so it doesn't slide down you, you can slide it down if you want and adjust it but you know in uh, the weight of each of the quad or even just, just the bare uh, branch makes it so that it grabs onto the stem and doesn't slip down so that's a really really good design so again the pro the, the cons uh, would be the cost might be uh, a little bit more expensive than you know having it mounted onto your wall edison also uh flies mostly cine whoops and uh you know um, quads with a uh, unibody flat flat unibody design so it's uh, so the hive can accommodate anything with a, with a you know with a flat base like this, but um, for something like this uh, Umagod remix, if I remove this antenna that's you know that's uh, clamping onto the remix from the front, it slides off. So this is not uh, I mean it's not it is well designed. It's just a, a limitation of the design because you can't handle everything. And uh, as you can see, the remix has uh, you know has a very narrow and, and slim body so none of the hooks of the branches are grabbing onto the actual remix so but you know is a solution one solution i found is just to put the antenna there and problem solved and uh depending on your quads design you, can, you, you can't have your antenna sticking out the back because the stem is in the way so uh there that, that's there's that limitation uh my six inch tricopter obviously is not going to fix the fit into these hives but you know that's okay that's one out of maybe eight or nine quads that I have so it's not really you know it's not really that bit much big of a loss and that one is really really huge so it's like th this long so it's not really going to be practical to put it onto the hive um, so yeah I think that is it for the pros and the cons what do you think about the hive um, we are going to be closing it right here but yeah I, I really like the design of this uh, for me you know this is a winner and um, yeah, I think it's I think it's great. So, what did you think about the Hive? Uh, so, if you're interested in getting the Hive, I'll put links to Edison FPV's Thingiverse so you can download the files yourself, or uh, also put a link to his Facebook page so you can contact him if you just want to, you know, just order it. And I believe he ships worldwide, so uh, just uh, hit him up and uh, tell him uh, what you need it for. All right. So, I'm going to keep this video here short and uh, you know short and sweet. I'm going to end this video here. Uh, I hope you are subscribed to this channel. If you're not, do click that subscribe button and make sure you hit that like button as well because it helps get YouTube, uh, get this video out to more YouTube viewers and it does help the channel a lot. All right, so I'm gonna keep it here. Um, as always, keep building and keep flying.